Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing good. In this video, we will talk about cell injury. After we previously studied about cell adaptations, and before we move to the next video about cell death, do you know, just like us, that can get hurt by things that we feel like it's too much, our cells can experience the same thing. Cell can get injured, but the question is, when and how? You've probably learned the concept of hypoxia in the previous subject. The next question would be, why is hypoxia an important keyword when discussing cell injury? And how the mechanism of various factors can cause cell damage? Well, we will find out the answer soon. Let us begin. In the previous meetings, we have already learned that the limit of an adaptive response that has been exceed or a state in which adaptation is not possible caused an event called cell injury. Cell injury can occur due to various factors such as lack of oxygen and nutrients, chemical and physical factors, infections, immune response, and genetic. We will discuss this one by one. And then, the extent of cell injury really depends on the durations and severity of the causes and the previous cell condition. First of all, hypoxia. Hypoxia is the most common. Once again, it's the most common causes of cell injury and cell death. What is hypoxia? Hypoxia is defined as reduced oxygen supply. The reduced oxygen supply causes damage to oxidative respiration and energy productions. Hypoxic injury includes several factors, such as ischemia, reduced oxygen carrying capacity, and disruptions of the respiratory or oxidative chain. Blood supply deficiency due to reduced arterial flow or venous drainage occurs in ischemia. Cells can still adapt to mild ischemia by atrophy. However, the cell will die if there is severe ischemia. Ischemia may result in infarctions or localized areas of ischemic necrosis. Reduced oxygen carrying capacity of the blood can be caused by anemia and hemoglobin dysfunction. In anemia, the volume of erythrocytes or the quantity of hemoglobin is reduced. Meanwhile, hemoglobin dysfunctions can be found in carbohemoglobin CO poisoning. Disturbances in the respiratory or oxidative chain can be found in phosphorylation such as cyanide poisoning. It inhibits oxidative phosphorylation. There are several mechanisms by which hypoxia can cause cellular injury. The reduced supply of oxygen to the mitochondria leads to impaired oxidative phosphorylation which reduces ATP and then has a general impact on cellular activity. In addition, damage to the sodium pump can cause water to enter which then cause swelling of the hydropic cells. Another mechanism is anaerobic glycolysis, causing a decrease in intracellular pH resulting in chromatin aggregation. Secondly, physical and mechanical factors. Physical and mechanical injury consists of several factors. For instance, extreme temperature, sudden change in atmospheric pressure, mechanical trauma, electrical injury, and radiation. Extreme temperature can be either cold or hot. Cold temperature can cause hypothermic injury, where this leads to cellular ice crystal formation. 
structure of cellular components, in severe vasoconstriction, and increased blood viscosity which can lead to ischemic injury. While hot temperatures, hypothermic injury can occur through microvascular coagulations and directly through cells. Injuries caused by sudden changes in atmospheric pressure occur due to the formation of gas emboli in the blood that impede circulation and cause ischemic injury. Mechanical trauma causes cell membrane disruptions, hypoxia from blood loss or impaired blood flow, and inflammatory swelling triggered by trauma. They cause mechanical or physical injury. Mechanical or physical injury caused by electricity disrupt nerve impulses and the heart. And mechanical or physical injury caused by radiation, genetic damage, and acute cellular damage occur. Now we are moving to chemical factors. In addition to mechanical or physical injuries, there are chemical injuries. This can directly injure or become harmful when metabolized into reactive chemicals by the body. An example of this process is CC104, which is converted into a very active free radical substance, CC13, by liver cells, which will then destroy the liver cells themselves. Some toxins that have affinity for certain cell types can also cause chemical injury. This occurs in CO, which can bind to hemoglobin. In addition, chemical injury can also be caused by acidic or alkaline chemicals that are corrosive to cell structures. Now let us move to quiz. Quiz 1 Number 1 the basic mechanism of cell injury due to hypoxia is A. Increased oxidative phosphorylation B. Decreased ATP production C. Increased intracellular pH D. Extremely corrosive and E. Ionization Infectious and Immunological Factors Hi everyone, other types of injury include infectious and immunological injuries. These injuries are caused by bacteria and viruses which are common infectious agents that can injure cells in various ways. The severity of the injury depends on the ability of the virus or bacteria to gain access to cells and interfere with cell function. Injuries can be caused by biologic agents or additional injuries by triggering the body's immune response. Bacteria injure cells from the outside by producing enzymes that are digested by cell membranes and connective tissue. Now genetics. Genetic injuries can be caused by mutations. Mutations can damage a cell enzyme or interfere with cell enzyme so that they cannot survive. Mutations can occur during gametogenesis, early stages of the zygote, or in the mature cells or somatic mutations. Cell mutations can be the basis of the transformations of cancer cells. Some genetic disorders are hereditary such as sickle and cell anemia. And last but not least is nutrition. In addition to mutations, some cell types are more susceptible to injury from nutritional imbalances. For example, red blood cell will be severely affected by iron deficiency and bones will be severely affected by vitamin D deficiency. Now, let me give you questions to answer. Question. Number 1. Sudden changes in air pressure cause cell injury through mechanisms. A. Frostbite. 
B. Embolic formation C. Microvascular coagulation D. Cell membrane damage and E. Vasoconstriction Well, everyone, we have discussed in detail about cell damage, the mechanism to describe the changes in cell structure that occurs. What is the relationship between adaptation damage and cell death? Why cell damage cause cell death? You cannot wait. We will learn this in the next video. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you.